Good Tuesday morning. Morning after the maiden. It's about it's in the low 60s. Tuco got to run around. He's in the shade. I'm out here getting ready to fly the first plane of the day, which is the SIG four star. And hopefully everything will go well. I fixed the control rods. I had too big of a too big of an easy connector on that little control rod and it didn't bite a bit but not enough for this rough grass Whew. we have winds they're kind of coming mostly down the runway a little off to the left of the runway but mostly down so let's get up we'll try to fly slower today well, it's much easier to see with the sunny day And I picked the speed up in the... It likes rudder, I noticed that. It looks like it's pulling to the right, but like I said, in this wind, it's hard to tell. All right, let's get our level. Oh, pretty much straight. Straight and level, so I did a good job. I managed to mess all the control rods up. So I had to re recenter them this morning, and so far, no trim needed. Oh yeah, plenty of vertical. Holy cow. Nice turn rate on the full span ailerons. Five minutes. <laughs> Maybe managed to get my timer talking. Much better flying today. Not as windy. Not near as windy as it was yesterday. Holy cow, did that suck yesterday. <laughs> Let's get some glistening off the sun. That just sucked yesterday. <laughs> oh. Kind of cool, man, looking up into it. Man. Seeing the different colors. Pretty good wind. It's probably blowing uh, seven, eight, maybe, but it's right down the runway. Should be able to get a nice landing in. Get on in the runway. Shame on me. Watch the poles. Spot. Oh yeah, this feels this feels better now, man. We're home. I just want to fly around, get get the hang. I brought two or three batteries for this day. I'm only going to film the first bit, the first flight with it. Yeah. Three. tracking nice I was real careful when I was building the wings to keep them like I had to add a little extra bracing to one side of the wing so I added it to both sides I don't know if a couple little itty bitty pieces of balsa would make a difference but just in case just find if the 2200 batteries the battery compartment's pretty tight, but I got it up as far forward as it'll go. I mean, there's only like, you have maybe, <laughs> maybe a half an inch of play in the battery compartment. If that, that might be an exaggeration. I haven't got the time sorted out on this yet that I can fly, but I bet I can fly eight minutes or better, man, on a 2200.
because I'm just barely, barely half throttled. Oh, it's, yeah, we haven't done a speed run yet. Yeah. All right, we're into the wind. All right, there's full speed. Not bad, not bad. Not bad. I still might have too, too high a throws on the elevator. But I like having a lot of elevator for when I need it to get out of a stall if I stall it. All right, let's see if we can get a couple landings in. <laughs> now the wind's kind of coming from over there out in the north that's north right there towards that tree no crazy ground running I learned my lesson yesterday this is not a drift car Whoa. I kept the power up that time. <laughs> I didn't want to I didn't want to stall her out. Okay. So we get another landing in. There we go. Whew. That was a sweet flight. A sweet flight with my SIG. Four star, 20 EP, kit built plane, built with Tuco and Jeff in the, in the mighty hangar back at Happy Hangerville, USA. Yeah, yesterday when I did the little bounce in, I did, I did damage one of the, one, one, one of, uh, I did put a slight crack in that back piece of wood, right? I don't know if it was that one or the other one. I just peeled off a little cover, uh, put some CA in there, glued it with the CA, put the, put the cover back, put a little piece of scotch tape on it. You can't see it. There you have her, man. I'm sure my bat. I'm sure I've got like 70% on my battery, but Tuco's in the shade. Jeff and the four star are in the sun, and man, we had fun. What a sweet flying plane, man. That's all I can say. It just flies great. I'm getting used to full full span ailerons. I've only flown a couple times with them. I can't remember if it was on the my um, Flex Cessna 170 or if I did it on the, the extra. Or if it was one of my buddy's planes that had it, had full span ailerons, I can't remember, but I didn't care for them. But there you have her. I didn't fly inverted with it. Oh well, something else to do in the next video. There you have her, man. It was a pure joy building that kit, man. It makes you makes you realize when you see the price of an ARF, all the work that went into building that ARF. <laughs> the skilled work <laughs> but there you have it man thanks for thanks for watching subscribe and become part of team let's go flying with tuco and jeff 